friends. My name is Paresh and if you're using Dynamics 365 and wondering how you can manage your documents associated with all your records, well then wonder no more because this is exactly what we are going to discuss today in this video. So enjoy. Now, the document management is very important in case you want to store documents for any records in Dynamics 365. The best way to manage your documents is via SharePoint and Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be integrated with Dynamics SharePoint for document management feature. Now, you might want to argue that when you create records in Dynamics 365, you also have an option to attach a document over there, which is true. But consider this, if you use inbuilt feature, you will not be able to get the features of SharePoint document management like version controls and changes. Also, uh, it eventually will increase the size, uh, the storage size of Dynamics 365, which is more costlier than the SharePoint storage. So it only makes sense to use SharePoint for document management from Dynamics 365 interface. But what does that mean? Well, it means that you do not have to open SharePoint application to upload the documents. It can all be done via Dynamics 365 interface which I'm going to show you practically how it works and how you can make use of rich SharePoint features like versioning uh, ahead in this video. You can check in, you can check out and also share documents with um, non Dynamics 365 users. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now from your CRM page, you can click on settings and under settings, click on document management. If the SharePoint site is not integrated yet, you will see an option called Configure Server-Based SharePoint Integration. If it has already been configured, you will not see this, this option available over here. So let's just click on that. It opens up a wizard which will guide you to integrate the server-based SharePoint integration. So the first option is to define deployment. And what it does, it is asks you where your SharePoint site is located. Is it online or on premise? So in this example, we have it online. So we'll select that option and click on next. And the second option in the prepare sites, it asks you basically the URL of your SharePoint site that you want to integrate to. Now, if you do not have this option available or your site is not created, what you can do is you can go to your office portal or simply click on the waffle over here and you will find your SharePoint um, option available. So click on that. And if the site is not available, we can quickly go ahead and create a site. And is it a team site or a communication site? We can say it's a team site. And let's say the name of the site is um, the quantum site and you can also provide various descriptions and everything but over here as you can see the system has generated a URL for that site right so you can just copy this as we will be using this for um, providing the URL and you can have the privacy setting as public or private let's make it public uh, select language, uh, let's say English, and click on next. Over here, uh, you can add additional owners. So I have a dummy owner over here, which I can add. If you want to add additional members, you can add that as well. And click on finish. And if everything goes okay, you will have your site, tech quantum site in this example, or whatever site you create will be available over here. And we also have um, the URL that we copied earlier. So on the prepare sites, let's provide the URL over here and click on next. And if everything goes fine, um, it will validate the site and it will say valid. So let's click on finish. And now you can see that the option to configure server-based SharePoint integration has gone. Now the next setup is to configure document management settings. So let's click on that. And over here, you need to enable all those entities uh, for which you want to upload the documents. So for example, you can click on account, agreement, agreement booking date, agreement booking setup, 
article, case, category, so on and so forth. And also you need to provide the same SharePoint site uh, that you had provided earlier and then click on next. Now over here, you select the full structure. Now you can either leave it blank or you can select the based on entity option. Now what it does is that the folders will be created on SharePoint in the context of your Dynamics 365 records. So that is always a good, uh, good option. And then you click on next. So once everything is succeeded, you can click on finish and the document management settings is done. Now let us look into an example. Let's go to our accounts and let's just say that we select um, any account, let's say a datum and over here, let's go to the common area and click on documents. And over here we can upload the document for this particular account. So click on upload, choose a file. Uh, well, there's a bird. <laughs> You can also choose to overwrite an existing file or just leave it as it is. So click on OK. Now you will note that you did not have to go to SharePoint site to upload this document. And of course, you can use uh, the rich features of SharePoint like check out and check in. And if you do not know how to browse to SharePoint and look for this uh, file where it's, it is located, you can click on open location and it will actually take you to the site uh, and the location in SharePoint where it is available. And you will also notice um, that the folder structure is based on the account record itself. That is because of the setting that we had selected earlier. Now, the important point to note is that the security settings of SharePoint and Dynamics 365 are handled separately. They are not synchronized. So you have to do a security setting in Dynamics 365 and also make sure that you do security settings in SharePoint. Now, the security roles and setting up the security feature in Dynamics 365 will be discussed in some other video. But this is how the document management feature works in Dynamics 365. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself? Bye-bye.